Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at these old Lenovo ThinkPads, and why they are still worth buying even today. Let's get into it. Now ThinkPads of this era are generally going to have Intel Core 2 Duo processors, maybe 4 or 6 gigs of RAM, although you can always upgrade this, and a mobile GPU of that era. In my case, it's an ATI Fire GL, but it really depends on the model. I'm going to try and keep this video very general because the information I'm sharing does apply to most of the ThinkPads of this era. However, if you're wondering, my specific model is Lenovo ThinkPad W500. It's rather rare, so you're unlikely to find one. I picked this up for about a hundred bucks on eBay. Now ThinkPads were designed with one thing in mind, work efficiency. They were designed to get the job done and get the job done well, and not to look pretty while doing it. However, the industrial brick design of the ThinkPad has actually become quite iconic and the ThinkPads of the Core 2 Duo era still hold up to that standard. These tanks of laptops with their hard plastic edges and their rubber coated lids are built to take a beating, and they take it well. You can abuse the hell out of one of these things, and it's still going to boot up and get the job done. This means that tossing it into a book bag and taking it to school or work is not going to be the slightest of problems for this laptop. Honestly, you could probably run it over on the way to work, and it's still going to boot up and get the job done. I use mine every day in class and in lab, and I can tell you from experience that it works out great as a school computer. The extended battery on these models provides a pretty unique use case scenario. You can use it as a handle. It is indeed strong enough. You can grasp the computer with one hand around the battery and use it while standing up using the extra point and click buttons and the dimple in the middle of the keyboard to navigate the UI. It's pretty useful actually, and I find myself doing it a lot more than I thought I would. Speaking of the dimple, yes you do in fact get the classic ThinkPad track point. Those who love it swear by it, and those who aren't quite as coordinated don't tend to like it as much, but it's iconic to the IBM ThinkPad, and Lenovo ThinkPad for that matter, and um, if you're a ThinkPad fan, you know what I'm talking about when I say it's freaking awesome. I use it way more than the trackpad. When it comes to typing, the classic ThinkPad keyboard still gives you a superior typing experience to almost any computer today. The chiclet style keys and the butterfly switches on the newest MacBook are no match for the just unbeatable feeling of typing on a ThinkPad. It's efficient, it's comfortable, it's just awesome. If you haven't ever tried one, you need to try one. On the performance side of things, things are quite impressive. There's not a whole lot to say about it, aside from the fact that it performs really well. Even with its older specs, daily tasks like Word documents and browsing the web are no issue for this computer whatsoever. You can even watch 720p YouTube videos and Netflix without any problems. You'd be hard-pressed to find a daily task that this computer couldn't do just as well as any new computer. When it comes to gaming, you shouldn't expect to be playing any AAA titles on this thing, but it actually runs some basic games at 720p really well, and I was very impressed. This game I'm playing right now is called Hell Yeah, and it's at least 60 FPS or smooth enough not to be able to notice, and even Counter-Strike Global Offensive runs at an adequate frame rate for you to play. So, um, you shouldn't be buying it for a gaming laptop by any means, but if there's a few basic games you want to play, it's definitely up to the task. I was very surprised at it, too. That's pretty much it for this video. This is a great laptop, and I highly do recommend you pick one up because it is still well worth the money. They're great laptops, they're very functional and very usable, and that's something that is kind of sad, but it's hard to find that in laptops today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You can click on some of the other videos coming up on the screen if you want to see more from me, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.